Howdy. Still in Utah. Somewhere along the way, my uh, refrigerator stopped working, so kind of bought some goods today that don't need to be refrigerated. For some reason, it's like freezing everything rather than refrigerating it. So that's fun. Today, I'm gonna be going up into the mountains and trying to catch a fish. We're gonna be going to the Uesha Mountains. I think that's what it's called. Sorry if you're a Utah native and that is not correct. We're gonna go try to catch some trout for supper. Today, we've got a nice break from the heat. It's only 80 degrees outside. We've got about an hour and 10 minute drive before we're near where I want to camp and in the mountains. But I'm excited to explore some of these, uh, these mountain lakes. PSA, if you're not pumping gas, move your car. All right, with this piece of paper, we're legal. Temperature really dropped off once we got up in the mountains. Right now we're at about 8,000 to 9,000 foot elevation, and it's like probably 65. Let's put some pants on. Working on some new belts before winter, some little safety buckle ones. So we're here, I think we're gonna hike all the way up to here. We've got ourselves about a two and a half mile hike one direction to get to the lake that I wanna fish. There's a lot of people in the parking lot, but I'm hoping that those are just campers and not all fishermen. Kind of a weird day. Just keeps, thunderstorms keep accumulating. Looks like there might be some activity right here. Oh yeah, there's some fish moving around over there. Okay. All right, I've got this little nymph tied on for right now. Um, it is a little later in the summer, so they might want something bigger, but I'm always an advocate of trying small first. Look at how fast the weather can change here. This is crazy. I'm gonna sit and wait it out for a second here before I head back down, see if it just passes, but we'll find some cover here. Jumping. <laughs> no. <laughs> no jumping. All right, I'm gonna give this like 
15 minutes. If it doesn't pass, we're just gonna head head back because this is I'm at just under 11,000 feet elevation. Not a good time to be up here. And there's a big thunderhead coming in. I gotta get lower. It's probably against uh, what I should be doing right now. Didn't see that there was another big dark cloud moving in. Well, I made it to my fishing spot and the wind picked up a little bit. And now we got more, more rain coming in. All right, I think I'm just gonna cut my losses and head back to the truck. No trout for me tonight. All right, well, just waiting out a thunderstorm again. Finally at lower elevation. <sighs> That's scary. Just waited out that storm. Best thing to do is to just stay put, get in the trees, I feel. Waited for it to pass. It's probably about 7.45 right now. It's getting darker. I might try to give it a couple more casts here before I hang my hat and just go, go back and cook some dinner. But I gotta give it one more try while I'm here. Time to head back. Getting back just before dark, gotta find myself a camp spot. So we're up in the mountains right now. We're, uh, we're 8,500 feet above sea level. So we drop down a little bit. It's getting dark out. I don't really wanna keep driving around too much. So we're gonna camp right in here. All right, well, I don't know how I'm stuck, but I'm stuck. Earlier this week I was camping at the salt flats and I realized that my four-wheel drive was maybe broken well this definitely confirms it this is like I'm I shouldn't even be stuck right now this is so stupid let's see if these things do anything Camp right here in a puddle. What a stupid spot to get stuck. Better just leave those out. <sighs> that was fun.
All right, so these are the ingredients I'm using tonight. Making eggs purgatory. First, we gotta dice up this guy. All right, now to dice up some garlic. So I've never made this recipe before or had it, um, but it looks, looks bomb. Would have been nice to have some trout with it, to add some meat, but the traditional way anyway is how I'm making it. All right, got our diced up onions, got our garlic. First, we're gonna throw our garlic in along with some olive oil. That garlic smells so good. Remember folks, always crack your eggs on a flat surface. How about that though? Looks pretty bomb, eh? All right, eggs purgatory. You have to serve it with some crispy bread. One of the biggest things I was worried about was how runny the eggs were. I'm pretty sure when you cook it, you're supposed to like, you're supposed to cover it for a little bit. I don't have a cover, which sucks, but the eggs cooked pretty good for the most part. Mm. There's some red pepper flakes in there for some zing. It's so simple, but so good. 
You get like a little bite from the onion. A little savoriness from the egg. The basil adds some freshness. And I don't know if this, these crushed tomatoes I got are phenomenal. This is the first time I've made this and I can tell you that I will probably make it again. I wonder if trout in here would be any good. I'm sure it would be. I'm eating like an animal right now. I'm so sorry. You know what would be really good in here? For sure bacon, maybe chorizo. Like crispy, crispy bacon though. Mm. You know what? I don't even I don't even think this would be good with fish. Mm. You know, it's better that we didn't catch one. I will have to say, it's like my first time to Salt Lake City. I like it. It's a cool place. I feel like I've barely put a dent in this, but I, I can't. It's no more. No mess. It does suck lately, though, because I feel like every vehicle that I have, just something's wrong with it. Like Steve, the voltage regulator's broken. The black truck had the same issue with the four-wheel drive going out. Had power steering go, had AC go out. This truck doesn't have four-wheel drive now. And the Airstreams, well, there's a lot of issues with that one, too. The bug always has flat tires, but the engine on that one's been good. All right, that's a little crazy. It's 58 degrees up here. It's so cozy in here right now. Those shelves work perfect for... Wish I would have had those earlier there. Salt and pepper. Probably gonna wake up with the sun tomorrow. I'm guessing 6 a.m., baby. If I don't freeze my nuts off tonight, I don't bring a sleeping bag, so... Fingers crossed it doesn't get too cold. It is good night. See you in the morning. Morning. Didn't get stuck this morning, got close. Got a nice night's sleep, had some good food, and a fun day fishing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.